Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do your Pyramid Lenormand Scope for September 2019. And the three cards that fell out for you is the Mice, the Sun and the Stork in the yearly Lenormand Scope. Now there will be a hidden message at the end of this reading, so just bear with me. Now the Sun is the focus card here and it's definitely about obtaining success, happiness, having a win or victory of some kind and feeling positive and something coming to light. Now the two cards next to it, the mice and the stork, is um, most important to you as it's what's next to you in your subconsciousness and as to what is rolling around in your head at this present time. Now you could be feeling a little anxious this month about success, but you will definitely get the victory eventually. Now this could be about a new start that is unwanted or even um, you being anxious about this change. But it is a positive new beginning with good progress and this fresh start will go well. Now the cards that I'm gonna pull from the bottom of the um, pyramid is your most recent past and how this situation got to where it is now. So what led you to this present beginning? So we had the dog, tower, stars clouds and the child and this is about having friends in high places here with the tower could be a lawyer or someone who is an official now this could be a famous friend it could be your best friend but definitely they're a bit of a high flyer and for the month of september you need to be careful as this friend may have um a lot of confusion and uncertainty so they could be a little bit untrustworthy this month and it's definitely a friend from your childhood because this is uh, where the child comes into the picture. Now although they have a big ego and they've been loyal to you over the years, they have star status, stars in their eyes and they're like a PR machine, like a promotion machine. So just be mindful that they could get um, involved in shady authorities, so like propagandists, that kind of thing. And it's going to cause confusion to this new beginning that's coming. Now, this person could be uh, weaving illusions to you here with the um, star and making up fantasies uh, in their own mind too. So this person was spoiled as a youngster and maybe they were spoiled because they were um, a child star. And if you know someone that's like this, this is for you. If this reading doesn't resonate, uh, do check out your moon and rising sign. I have two more star signs to go and they'll be all up on YouTube, guys. So um, thank you for coming to my channel anyhow. Now, there is uh, two card choices that you have to make this month. And it is the, um, I'll put these cards back so you can see them. <clears throat> Okay, so it's the key and it's the anchor. So the key is definitely um, a spiritual card. It is what is needed and what is wanted, what is important to you. And your career and long-term goals are important here with the um, anchor. So this is you um, having that long-term fate, Sagittarius. So it could be about your spirituality or your career matters that you need to choose. Now we do have the fish at the top of the pyramid which represents money or business. So there is two paths to take. Now the first path here for you is the dog, the mice, um, the key and the fish. So what this is telling me is if you choose the first path, this is a friend who's very anxious to make money and uh, to do this business and this could be stressful on your relationship now there is a significant concern on your part <clears throat> where regarding this business is important to you and you're trying to find the key to business but there's something not going on right if you choose this second uh, first path I should say now if you choose the second path which is the child stalk the anchor and the fish it's more positive now this is will be a new beginning for you 
and it will be stable with the um, anchor here in the picture so it will be a stable beginning of long-term progress and you will find business stability if you choose to go down the second path now I've also um, picked a card from the wisdom of hidden realms deck and this is by Colette Baron Reed and we have the Phoenix this is about resurrection and surrender to change so even though you're a bit anxious about change it's asking you to surrender to go down the second path so I'm going to uh, read more in-depth meaning of this card from the the guidebook and see how it fits in your situation and help you get some clarity on what this actual card means but it is about the Phoenix uh, rising again from the ashes and and being successful you've got all the orange and yellow around you and this is a fire energy that's uh, I'm gonna make you move forward here Sagittarius now it could re represent you as well now the Phoenix appears as your ally to celebrate your journey and to ensure your ultimate success and this is true even if it appears that you've just passed through a metaphorical experience of death or are currently enduring a perception of failure in your life now death and rebirth and related when you enter the realms of the phoenix seen in this light the phoenix truly dies uh, sorry the phoenix um let me say that again seen in this light nothing truly dies but rather changes from one ending directly into new beginnings and that is uh true of the stalk so definitely a fresh new start is coming now the phoenix is constantly reinventing itself and rises up whole and new and even more powerful with every death it experiences now this could be um, signaling an end to a relationship maybe with your um, childhood friend or this could um, be a dynamic within one or an end of a job a project or even a life perhaps no failure is involved but it's time for a complete overhaul of your circumstances so you may be tired of what you're doing or you may know intuitively that it's time to move on and try something new. So whatever the case, a death of the old and a celebration of new life are called for. So whatever you do now, he said to Terrius, will indeed be a successful endeavour. For a rebirth is imminent in your life. So definitely a rebirth here. So that's a beautiful new message. And um, if you take that second path, it's definitely going to bring you success with the sun. Definitely. So I hope this um, helps to whoever it was meant to go to. Love and blessings. Bye for now.